Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Today I'm off the homestead over at Southern Pepper Ones. Been doing some R&D research on these solar panels and power boxes here. I'm gonna go over the setup at first, tell you what we're working with, and uh, then we'll go into the detail about measurements and all that good stuff. The panels, folding panels on the right of your screen, those are FF Power's 200 watt folding solar panel, which is IP66 waterproof rated. And the panel on the left of your screen is a Rich Solar Mega 200 watt panel. Uh, the Rich Solar is 22% efficient. The FF Power folding panel is 24% efficient. Both of them are 36 cell modules, um, 20 volts, give or take, on the uh, VMP on both of these panels. And then the test mule boxes are identical FF Power P2001 boxes with Anderson SB25 connectors, MC4 going to those. So we're gonna do some, uh, I've had some interesting results with these panel tests. So um, myself and Southern Prepper One are gonna get right into this and showing you some, some readings and some interesting things going on with these uh, boxes and panel combinations. Plus a safety feature will be in before the end of the video. The reason I wanted Mr. Off Grid here to test these and figure this out is because normally uh, the folding ones are not as efficient as a glass panel. And what was happening was the folding one was more efficient, was giving me more wattage uh, at the same angle, and that was confusing me. So that's why we uh, decided, hey, get together and let the expert tell me what's the problem going on here. Uh, so both of these panels, let me explain the test conditions. We're at 70 degrees outside, cool breeze, intense sun, noon, dead overhead. And uh, the panels are oriented to the manufacturer's recommendations. So instead of running back and forth with the camera and trying to shoot the display on the screens on those uh, FF power boxes, it's so bright I can't really see them with this camera. So the Southern Prepper One is going to volunteer and give us some baseline readings between the two boxes. On the folding panel, it is 160, 160 watts. On the rich power, it is 150 watts. So we've got a 10 watt difference between the panels. Let's do some napkin math on that. That'll be roughly 7% difference on the two. So uh, identical boxes, a little discrepancy on both. Both panels are rated for nominal 200 watts. So now let me explain why there is a discrepancy between the two panels. All right, so the first thing I noticed when we set up this R&D test, trying to figure out why the folding panel is making more uh, on the specs, you know, 24% versus 22% efficient, it's not that big of a deal. Um, usually glass I perform the folding panels just due to the coating on top of the panels, the anti-reflective coatings they got. Of course, glass is nice and smooth. It lets the sunlight come in real, real good on the sails. And you know, the folding panels, if you've ever seen them, they got this dimpled, dimpled effect on top of the sails. So in my mind, from what my personal tests have been on, on similar different uh, style folding panels is the folding panels have always um, been less wattage wise than, than other panels I've tested. So, you know, the 2% efficiency difference usually is canceled out by the ripples on the plastic coating on top of the panels. So, that's okay, we got that figured out. You know, that percentage difference, still the glass panel should outperform the folding panel. So, you know, I noticed that the, the folding panel appeared to be a little bit larger than the glass panel. I said, well, that's, that's our difference right there, surely. Uh, both of these, for reference, are 36 cell modules. And I measured them off with the tape measure. And the folding panel, the FF Power folding panel, is 1,660 square inches of collection surface, where the Rich Mega 200 is 1,508 square inches of collection surface. So that nets you a difference of 9% uh, surface area difference between the two. So the folding panel has the benefit of having extra collection surface. So kudos to FF Power for bringing to market the first folding panel I've seen or tested that actually outperforms a glass panel of the same rating. And they did this by having a more efficient solar module. Uh, appears their anti-reflective coating that they put on top of the modules is superior to uh, any other ones that I've seen. And also just that little bit of extra surface area still in a package that weighs less than that glass panel. So that is an awesome folding solar panel. Best one I've seen yet. So Southern Prepper One's putting up our heat shield. And that's another note I wanted to make about these portable power stations, solar generators. 
don't leave them out in the blistering sun. You're gonna make them overheat the charge controllers and various other things. The black plastic on is just gonna absorb the heat. So always sit your power box in a shaded location or keep it out of direct sunlight. So that is safety tip number one for this video. All right, safety tip number two for this video. Southern Prep One is gonna show you some cheap insurance on these boxes. Um, this will, you need to size these fuses for your max input on your box. So these FF powers are rated for 15 amps. So that's a 15 amp fuse and that protects your box and charge controller in case you get a short in your wire or something goes on with your panels, something like that. It's just a cheap little between 12 and $14 depending on which brand you go with. And I'll link these in the description of the video along with everything else. That's just a cheap way to uh, protect your wire and protect your box from a potential overcurrent situation. So Southern Purple One is going to demonstrate how to install your inline fuse link. You put it on your positive cable off of your solar panel to your positive lead going to your portable power station. Just like that, it's MC4 connectors. They go in quick and easy and just be sure to match the fuse to your rating on your power box and solar panel wiring. And if you're wondering what these fuse links look like, he's going to take one apart. You can see right there, you have a fuse that sits inside of the holder. It's waterproof and all that, and the fuses are, are rated for a thousand volts. Just make sure everything matches your specifications. So pick the one for the proper size of your box. Just look on the power station. I'll show you how to find that too. So on these FF powers in particular, you see this is your PV input on the Anderson connector. And you can see a max of 15 amps. So you'd want to protect your power box with a 15 amp fuse on this particular model. Uh, if this is not located on your power box and, and print on the side, check your manual. Uh, they should have specifications depending on your manufacturer to what the maximum amp draw is. So just check that and fuse to the proper size for your power box. And one more thing before I close the video out, I wanted to discuss the pricing on these panels. There's ongoing testing with, with this 200 watt panel, this 200 watt panel, so Southern Prep 1 and myself are doing some, some R&D testing for you to get some real world measurements on these panels. But price on these two, the FF Power folding panel is $399.99 and then the Rich Solar panel is $205 at time of filming. Uh, but there is a benefit to having the folding panel. Um, you know, if you're in transition between an apartment and a house or if you're in an apartment or, you know, your RV roof can't support glass panels, if you're camping, the folding panels are great for situations like that. So let me just show you how much smaller this folding panel is compared to your rigid glass panel. So uh, Southern Prep One is gonna fold this panel up while we close the video out. Another benefit of these folding panels, they're a lot easier to uh, protect from an EMP. You can Faraday them a lot easier due to their small size. So, uh, you know, very comp compartmentalized. So it's easier to protect. You know, if you keep one of those, you ain't worried about your diodes burning out, stuff like that. So a lot easier to protect. Very portable, very light, um, about half the weight of that glass panel. So you can throw it in the back of your truck, throw it in your car, throw it in your camper, throw it in your boat, whatever you got. So, you know, there are benefits to, uh, to the folding panels. But I uh, appreciate Southern Prep One for letting me come over and do some R&D testing on these uh, panels and power stations. There will be more testing on, on different panels, manufacturers, things like that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a couple of things. hope I could help you out a smidge. And, uh, you know, Hope you hit the like button. I'd greatly appreciate that. Questions, any any further comments or anything, you know where to put them. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate a subscription from you. Thank you for watching the Off-Grid Mountain Homestead. Y'all have a nice day.